Ishimura? at this time. Well, they're gone now. Or what was left of them. Some Shinra troopers helped dispose of their remains. How they got in, however, remains unclear. But that's for someone else to figure out. We're still struggling with the loss of Mr. Murasaki. Shinra's created a refuge for those suffering from Mako poisoning. Here they can relax and recover in their own time. Though recently... ...have up and left without a word. Which is frankly beyond me. I'm the manager of the manor only on paper. I know next to nothing about it. Records indicate it was built as a research facility borrowed from the village back in Shinra's early days. The work carried out at the facility, however, was apparently quite sensitive. Pretty much all the details have been redacted. Really makes you wonder what they're trying to conceal. By the way, you spent an awful long time inside Shinra Manor. What were you doing in there? We... needed to use the terminal. That's all, was it? Why do you ask? Well, you see, ever since your visit, I've been hearing this strange voice. A woman's, coming from inside. I know this sounds crazy, but you don't think it's haunted, do you? Hardly. Besides, you're the manager. Ain't it your job to investigate? No, I don't have the clearance to set even one foot inside. Regardless, I know what I heard. It wasn't just the wind rustling through the trees at night. Someone was weeping, almost musically. It sounded like a woman wailing. For real? I'm afraid so. And given that I didn't hear a thing until you went inside, it's clear there's a connection. Why not take some responsibility and go investigate for me? I think I'm gonna sit this one out. Hey. Come on. I'm sure it's nothing serious. <laughs> <laughs> 